The 21st Century Sometimes you only get the chance to play in the band for just a little while. Danny Schaefer in the 21st Century was that band for me. After my years solo in the van, my friend Jubal asked me if he could put together a band around my music. When Jubal spoke about music, he knew just what he was saying. It wasn't the success or notoriety that we played some nice shows. It was knowing that the band got it. That we all knew we were playing together and for the music. Also that the guys that were in the band were a band that no one expected anyone to put together. Everyone had different backgrounds and styles. The 21st Century was a band that could lock it in and play above and beyond the call of duty and didn't seem to want much more than that. We would meet up in a little house in Nederland, Colorado, many nights just workshopping and getting the sound. The needed elements were there. I hadn't had a band for a few years and was comfortable on my own. But still, these guys were different. They could play it all. It was a more modern sound than I was used to. Not folk music, not rock music, not country music, and not soul music. It was a mix of all of that. The band held my voice and songs in a dynamic perspective that I could write into and be supported. My name was on the band, but it had way more than one leader. Jubal was really the acknowledged leader and a force to be reckoned with. Jubal and I came from the same streetwise, abandoned kid sort of world. I could tell that when we drove down alleys, he still looked for roofs to sleep on, like I did. And the man could play. He could play anything. We called Detch and Hawk to play keyboards, which meant mostly organ for this band. Detchen was from a different musical background than I was. He had been playing on his own in a neo-soul funk project. We called Chris Ramey to play pedal steel. Chris had given me his number at a gig a couple years before, but I'd never called until this. Chris has musical knowledge and musical history down pat. He is legacy-minded and knows how to use that knowledge to push new limits. Todd Nay played drums. Todd is from a touring background and plays with more dynamic than most. His drums always sound good. Todd is one of those rare people that would never let you down and always looks a person in the eyes. Just what a band member, friend, and drummer should be. The 21st Century recorded one album under my name for Tollstar called Wherever You Are. We had a brief but quick gigging time maybe two years. At some point, Jubal had met a woman from the Virgin Islands. Needing a different scene, he moved there. We missed him a lot. Though Jim Sullivan came in to play bass and did a wonderful job, we just couldn't get back to where it felt right. Maybe because Jubal wasn't driving it anymore. But it was many things. I was distracted after the Colorado flood took away my home. Survival mode was my only mood. I just couldn't work the same way as before. It'll take time, but I hope I can again someday. There is another band out, for, out there for me. I can hear it. It comes to me now and then. On a beautiful sunny Sunday, we all heard that Jubal had died. Heartbroken and stunned, we have all stayed close. I think about Jubal almost every day. And in lots of ways, I am still in denial that he is not still with us and living. I miss him so much. We were so alike and so different at the same time. We just had a way with each other. Wounded, grown-up kids with guitars. I always felt safe around him. I don't doubt that some people felt the opposite. I knew he believed in me and the way I lived. I believed in him. He was unlike anyone, anyone I have ever known. I have always thought that forming a band is a strange thing to do. Three or more people arranging three hours of music with the hope that someone will want to hear it. What a thing to do. Made out of the love, passion, and ego music is. 
It's a lot of work, time, and commitment to put together a band. Then to take that and put it in a van, carry a bunch of heavy gear, and get underpaid and go play to some random audience takes a lot of serious guts. It's personal and out front, under the lights, the loudest thing in the room. Musicians are a crazy bunch of people for giving what they give. Sure, I am one of them. Still, to be around them is where I learn most of what I know as social skills. With crazy hours, unpredictable food, bad weather, and inconsistent sound systems, a musician is still expected to put on a show. A musician is behind so many eight balls and still expected to relate and give to the audience. It's a miracle of love that anyone does it at all. Sure, there are moments of glory and camaraderie that keep a musician going. There is also panic in the night that it won't work, fear that you won't be able to pay the bills, a wish to be understood while playing a song you wrote about someone dying. All while your guitar is buzzing uncontrollably because the bar has it on the same circuit as a popcorn machine. I have played in so many bands that I have lost count. I mostly like the freedom of just me and my guitar these days. But I still play with Chris Ramey fairly often. I can't imagine not playing with him. If we are a product of our environment, then I am what a band and a gig is.